In this video, I want to go through another CFA level one exam style question on the topic of the harmonic mean this time. This is a very important concept. You need to know how to apply the harmonic mean, when to use it and how to interpret it. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question that I want us to have a go at. A client purchases 10,000 worth of shares each quarter for three quarters in a row. The share price is 12, 18 and 16 at each of the purchase dates respectively. The average price paid for a share is closest to. Now, very often you're going to be presented with these problems in this context. So you'll have to compute the harmonic mean when given share prices and information that somebody spends. Um, a certain amount of money every year, every quarter, every month on the purchase of securities. So what you need to do, first of all, to compute the uh, harmonic mean is you need to know a formula, which is very, very easy to apply. But before I do that, let's just do it the long way. Let's say you forget the formula that I'm going to show you in a moment, and you need to do this in the exam. So um, maybe we could uh, say, well, what's the total uh, amount spent over the three quarters and the total amount spent would obviously be three lots of um, 10,000. That's going to be $30,000 in total. And uh, what's the number of shares purchased? The total number of shares? Well, this is a little bit more complicated because um, you'd have to break this down into the relevant quarters. In quarter one, uh, when the share price was $12, we would have the amount 10,000 uh, divided by the share price of 12. Well, let's take my calculator and do this. I'm not necessarily going to uh, bother showing you this computation. It's not going to be uh, extremely difficult. 10,000 divided by 12. Okay, 800 and 33.33 shares obviously i'm assuming you can buy fractional numbers of shares which is not necessarily the case now for q2 something similar spent 10000 but this time the price at which the buying happens is 18 so 10000 divided by 18 um 555 but once again with a bit of a tail 56.56 shares and for Q3, let's see what this one is. 10,000 spent, share price 16. Okay, at least this number is a whole number, 625 shares. So let's add up these numbers of shares, 625555, five, 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 etc. So just a moment, and 833.33, three, 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 three. okay. Um, well, my calculator is telling me that the total number of shares bought would be 2013.89. Now, from this, I guess you can compute the average price paid for a share. And this is something you may want to do in the exam, just in case you forget the relevant formula. So, average price paid would be the uh, total amount spent. 30,000 divided by the number of shares purchased, 2013.89. Let's have a look at what this gives. Right, my calculator is telling me that the average price was 14.89, 14.9, 14 14.9, 14 per share. And that's actually um, answer A. So, um, Hey, we've just um, we've just done it. However, there's an easier way to do it, and that's using the formula for something called the harmonic mean. And if you ever get a question like this, please apply this formula, assuming you remember what it is. So harmonic mean. This works when somebody is spending an equal amount periodically to buy securities, shares, which are going to be priced. Um, differently from you know from period to period so the formula for this is n divided by 1 over x1 plus 1 over x2 now I'm going to 
do another plus here, extend the um, fraction and have ultimately 1 over xn. Now the n stands for the number of observations here. So the different, uh, the three different prices in our case, because observations are going to be price points. And um, the x's are the actual observations. So the actual prices um, themselves. So if we now apply this to the uh, scenario at, ha at hand, we would have three price points. The first one was 12, the second was 18, and the third one was 16. So what you do in the bottom of the fraction in the denominator is you have 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 18 and 1 divided by 16 and see what this gives. I'm going to start with what's in the bottom here. I think it makes more sense. So 1 divided by 12 plus 1 divided by 18 plus 1 divided by 16 equals. Now I'm going to press a sign or a key on my calculator, which is 1 over x, which is going to give me 1 divided by x, the reciprocal, and multiply this by 3. And I'm looking at a result of 14.8965, so 14.9 dollars per share, which is exactly in line with what we computed before. Brilliant. Problem solved.